So welcome to our program talk. Welcome everybody. I am the program leader uh, for the Master of Arts in Fashion and Textiles. I'm very happy to have the chance to introduce this program to you. I'm also uh, very glad to meet all of you. You have the interest uh, in this program. Let me uh, introduce this program to you. The aim of uh, this program, uh, firstly, we would like to uh, enable our students to integrate and apply uh, knowledge of fashion design and textile technology in the globalizing fashion business. We also want to enhance our students' intellectual ability to tackle those issues of worldwide fashion supply and distribution. Through this program, we would like to nurture students' potential and emphasistic as active learners so that they can continue to learn personally and professionally. This is a top master program. It includes two major specialisms. One is fashion merchandising, we call it as FM, and the one is global fashion management, GFM. It is a mixed mode. What does it mean by a mixed mode of study? It means it includes uh, full-time study and part-time study. If you take fashion merchandising uh, and you want to do a full-time study, you only need to spend only one year to complete this study. So you will attend uh, some courses um, during the daytime so, so that you can complete the course. If you want to take the part-time mode, uh, you will take those classes in the evening time or night time. Uh, you need to spend around two years to compete. Uh, for another stream, GFM, Global Fashion Management. Uh, if you take full-time mode of study, you may spend around uh, one and a half year. Uh, but if you want to take part-time mode, you need to spend two years, just a little bit more. So uh, in order to complete the whole program, students are expected to, uh, to get um, 30 credits. So how many subjects are uh, referred to 30 credits, 10 subjects? Because uh, quite often, one subject carries three credits. So now I would like to let you know about the curriculum curriculum structure. For the fashion merchandising specialism, as I said, in total, students are expected to compete 10 subjects. What are they? Four subjects are common subjects, which are compulsory. Another three subjects, which are called specialized subjects, which are related, closely related to um, fashion merchandising. And lastly, they are expected to compete three elective subjects. They can select some subjects from a list of subjects based on their interest and career development plan. If you take another specialism, GFM, Global Fashion Management, similarly, uh, students are expected to compete four common subjects and three elective subjects. What's more, they are expected to take three specialized subjects with um, we call them as intensive seminars and site visits. So what are these three subjects? They are special because uh, for the GFM specialism, we collaborate with other universities. One is FIT, Fashion Initiative of Technology in New, New York or uh, US. Uh, another one is IFM in Paris, France. So um, students who take GFM specialism uh, will participate in three overseas visits. These three overseas visits, uh, uh, one is they, they are required to go to New York, another one is um, go to Paris, the last one is uh, go to Hong Kong or mainland. So they will attend uh, three overseas visits in three different cities. So uh, they will um, attend some seminars. So uh, students from PolyU, from FI FIT and uh, IFM have the chance to meet with each other. They can learn with each other. 
So um, as I said, the, um, if students want to take these fee courses, so they have to visit uh, some cities. So how about the traveling uh, cost? For each um, overseas trip, it costs around 15,000 or to, uh, up to, to uh, 20,000 uh, Hong Kong dollars. So students have to uh, prepare this budget if they want to take the GFM specialism. How about those subjects of the by our program? As I said, students are expected to complete four common core subjects from both specialisms. These subjects are, uh, you can see on this PowerPoint, uh, sourcing and logistics, three other subjects which are related to fashion design, uh, technologies, and uh, global marketing and brand management. So you can see those subjects are quite diverse. They, um, they can provide students with understanding and knowledge about the industry as a whole from different perspectives, from the design, from the technology, uh, and from the uh, marketing and management perspective. So um, they are able to equip our students. If um, your undergrad is, uh, say, uh, design, so uh, you can take some uh, core subjects to, to equip yourself. You can take uh, technology subjects and marketing and management subjects. So you will get uh, uh, um, um, uh, some diverse uh, knowledge and understanding about the whole industry. Um, for the free specialized subjects, if you take uh, FM specialism, so you will take uh, these three subjects. Call, uh, quality assurance, apparel, performance evaluation, and merchandising planning and control. They, um, um, those, uh, they are subjects relevant to the fashion merchan uh, merchandising. And how about GFM specialism? As I said, students are expected to take free overseas trips and take those seminars in these, uh, uh, in, in these, uh, trips. Uh, in New York, Paris, and uh, Hong Kong, and mainland China. So students are uh, expected to complete these three seminars. For those um, elective subjects, although students are asked to complete three elective subjects, we offer a lot. So you can see uh, those subjects we offer. Um, students can select uh, fashion rhetoric research methodology, information sy system, uh, innovation strategy for the fashion industry, uh, omni-channel rhetoric and marketing. So we offer um, uh, different, different subjects for students to select. So students can select uh, three subjects based on their personal interest. Uh, and uh, they may also refer to their career developments. They may select some appropriate subjects for them themselves. So how about the, 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 the fee for the, the whole program? For the coming year, uh, 2022 to 2023, um, for one credit, uh, it costs 5,200 Hong Kong dollars. So as I said, one subject, carries fee credits. So in order to complete this program, students are expected to take three, 10 subjects, 10 subjects. So very simple calculation. In total, um, students may need to prepare the budget. Um, uh, 105,000 uh, uh, Hong Kong dollars. I would like to give you some more um, uh, information. Uh, if you are a permanent Hong Kong ID card, holder. Um, you may consider to apply uh, a scheme. We call this as a fellowship scheme. This scheme um, is offered by uh, the Hong Kong government because our industry, the fashion industry, is considered as a creative industry. So um, students can uh, consider uh, to apply this scheme so um, if their um, qualification is appropriate so that, um, or, and their application is successful, they need to pay only around uh, 4, uh, 42,000 Hong Kong dollars instead of 156 
dollar. So um, if you are a um, um, permanent holder of Hong Kong ID card, you may consider to join or to apply this scheme. So uh, for the coming year, this uh, September, uh, how about the number of index 55? 55 for both specialisms, um, fashion merchandising and global fashion management in uh, part-time base and full-time base. So the quota is not much, so only 55. So you may consider uh, to apply it uh, as soon as possible if you have decided. So how much the entrance requirements? Very simple. A bachelor's degree in textiles or fashion studies. Um, if you say uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing the study for textiles or fashion, but I want to apply. Fine, you may apply as long as you have some relevant work experience um, related to our industry. So um, you may consider it. So uh, in case you want to apply for the GFM specialism, um, uh, uh, there is a requirement for your uh, work experience. You may have uh, a minimum of three years of relevant work experience so that you can fulfill the uh, admission uh, requirements. But if you say, uh, I want to apply for FM, fashion merchandising, fine, um, you, you can apply it. Uh, it does not require any work experience. So uh, another um, uh, application tips to uh, a, a group of people, for those applicants whose first degree qualifications are not obtained through uh, the English medium, they are expected to fulfill the English language requirements. Indeed, these requirements, language requirements, is um, suggested by PolyU. So they need to take uh, English test the TOEFL test or the IELTS test. If they take the TOEFL test, the, the score um, should be at least 80, 80 for the internet-based test or 550 for the paper-based test. If they take the IELTS test, they, they are expected to get at least six, at least six from the IELTS test. So uh, in case you want to apply, I recommend you apply it now. Uh, the application uh, is uh, very simple. You only need to submit an online application. But um, if you want to apply, I give you a tip. Um, you have to indicate your interest. You're interested uh, in fashion merchandising or global fashion management. Uh, whether you would like to apply for the full-time or part-time indicates clearly for your interest. So you may, uh, you may pay attention to section two of the online application form when uh, making your application. The deadline is by the end of April, 30 April. So I'll give you more information with, um, the, the application process started last year in uh, September. So um, we have received uh, some applications already. And we also, uh, we have also con conducted uh, two rounds of interview. So uh, we are going to give offer to those applicants who are suitable. So um, in case you have interest, uh, you may submit it uh, before the deadline. So uh, our the coming, the coming run of application, uh, the coming run of interview is around the end of this month. So if you can apply it within this uh, one or two weeks, uh, we may uh, conduct interview when necessary. So uh, um, we, uh, in case you you haven't decided, you take more time to to consider. Fine. So uh, uh, keep in mind uh, the deadline is thirty April. Uh, once we have some applications we will arrange uh, interview and we will, uh, we, uh, after our review on those applications. So um, in case um, you have some uh, um, inquiries and or you would like to get more information, uh, you may contact our program secretary, Ms. Cicely Ho. She is very helpful and she is very kind. She will address your inquiries clearly. 
or you may visit our website, uh, ITC website, to get more information about our program. So, uh, my introduction for this program uh, ends here. So, uh, thank you. So, in case you have um, questions or concerns, uh, you may put down on the chat box. So, I will address uh, those questions one by one. I hope um, 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 you you can have enough information for for you, for you to consider. Okay, I get one question. If I want to catch up on the next batch of admissions, by what day should I submit my application? If you you have decided to apply, so uh um you may uh, apply it after this um the, this meeting, so uh or in the coming two weeks. So submit your application to us. As I said in in my in my in my uh in my parts, uh, we will conduct the, the coming round of uh, interview around the end of this month. So if you can submit your application to us within this this week, uh, we will review it. Uh, and if necessary, we will arrange the interview for uh, for you, if necessary. So any questions or concerns? We can help you. We can address. Give you some more information um, about those students after they take our program. So, um, many of them work in our industry, in the fashion industry. Um, some take uh, the, uh, those, uh, the work or the job uh, in sourcing, uh, logistics, uh, design, uh, production. Uh, and uh, social media marketing. Uh, so they may take some um, uh, managerial uh, positions. If you Okay, uh, one question. If I receive a degree from a uh, university in Hong Kong, um, I do not need to submit an English uh, language test, right? Uh, yes, if, um, yeah, your, your, all your subjects, uh, or if your subjects are touched by, uh, English. Uh, you have another question, or it is still better to submit it. So, um, you may submit your application. You may submit your application without, without the English test. In case, in case, uh, uh you are, um, uh, required to submit the English test, we will let you know later. So, uh, after we receive your application, we will review your application and we may conduct interview, uh, so that we can discuss about your qualification or let you know about the program more. So um, if it is if it's smooth, uh, we will uh, give you uh, or give applicants offer. offer. So uh, in case uh, applicants are, are required to take English tests, we will give conditional offer to those applicants. So they need to complete the English test and upload the results to our system. So after they upload the results to the system, uh, um, um, I, I suppose uh, they can meet the, the English uh, requirements. So we will give the confirmed offer. So I think uh, during the application period, um, uh, you may submit it even you don't have any uh, English uh, test results. What about the job and uh, salary of non-local students in Hong Kong after graduation? So um, the job scope is quite diverse. As I mentioned, some take uh, the job in sourcing, logistics, uh, design, uh, production, uh, sales. So uh, indeed, uh, the salary depends on um, the, the position, uh, the job position. 
they take. Non-local students, after they graduate, um, non-local students may stay uh, in Hong Kong to, 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 to look for the job. Okay, one more question. Um, okay, uh, would there be any uh, entrance uh, scholarship opportunities for international students? Um, basically, uh, this program is a torch, torch master program. So uh, our universities does not provide any scholarship for this kind of program. Instead, instead uh, if students want to apply for scholarships, they can consider external scholarships, external scholarships. So um, after students uh, take our offer, say around in, uh, in May, in June, in July, after they take our offer, once we have their uh, information about external scholarship, we will send such information to our students for their consideration and application. As I said, if you, um, I'm not sure for, uh, for, for, for uh, whether this is relevant to you, uh, you mentioned uh, international student. I think. So if um, you are a uh, 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 Hong Kong ID card holder, uh, you, uh, you, you, you have the permanent Hong Kong ID card, you may consider, you may consider to, um, to apply for the fellowship scheme I, I mentioned in my presentation. Uh, you, you may consider this as a, a kind of scholarship. Students uh, need to pay around uh, 40, 42 or 43,000 Hong Kong dollars to complete a program that is originally uh, required uh, to pay uh, 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 150,000 dollars. Do you have any further questions or inquiry? Okay, thank you. Your feedback is very clear. So I hope uh, um, um, uh, my information is useful to you. Okay. Um. I, I. I. think at this moment, perhaps you. You cannot come up any questions. So. Uh, in. Uh. In case you have questions, you may contact us. You may send an email to our general office. So. Uh. My colleague put down the email address. Uh, I copy it here. You can write an email to uh to us. Uh, send an email to our general office. Uh, from time to time, when you have uh, inquiries. So uh, keep in mind, um, the deadline of application is uh thirty April. So from now to the end of April, uh, please uh please um, um uh apply uh make your application if you have decided to uh to apply for our program. So uh, I stop here. Okay, and uh, uh, some more information, you can follow our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube uh, for the uh, most updated information. Okay, okay, uh, let's stop here. Uh, in case you have questions, you may, you may let us know. Uh, anytime you want. Okay, uh, bye bye. Have a good day. Thank you, thank you.